hello what's up youtube in this tutorial i want to show you how you can easily add a beautiful and nice glow to skin in your portraits in just photoshop so this tutorial is going to change and transform your portraits or even your headshots in general and i want to show you how you can do it in the most natural way possible so usually i had in past instances used dodging and burning whereby i could get a brush and i start painting around the areas that have highlights but this really had some tiny drawbacks so this tutorial is going to show you the best and more natural way to add glow to skin in photoshop so we're just going to be adding this beautiful glow to skin you can see how nice it looks right now so i'm just going to delete this and i show you how to add that glow so a brief reminder i have a request that you hit the like button on this video because when you hit the like button it helps the video perform better and it also helps the YouTube algorithm to really recommend it to so many people out there and hence helping the channel grow in the long run. So just hit the like button on this video. So right now we're just going to be using the curves adjustment layers. So after you have done the retouching and everything, this is the last step that you have to do when it comes to adding the glow. And these are more like the final touches after doing your skin retouching on your beauty portraits or on your photos in Photoshop. So how to add the glow, just come to the adjustments right here and you come to curves. So after creating this curves adjustment layer, you shouldn't do any ad adjustment to it. So just leave it the way it is. Then you're going to come right here to select and you come down to color range. So it's going to open up another color range window and this is where you have to take most emphasis or you take not so make sure you put in the settings that i'm about to share with you so make sure you make sure the selection option is in sampled colors right here then also make sure localized color clusters is not checked in this case then make sure selection is also activated right here not image but make sure selection is activated then you also have to come and make sure that quick mask is selected and make sure this eyedropper tool is also selected. The first eyedropper tool, the one which doesn't have the plus and minus, this one which is just a simple color picker or eyedropper tool and always make sure the invert option is not checked. So after that, we just want to target the highlights of the image. So if at all you look at this image, the selected areas are going to be these areas that are, are looking like uh, a color like science and in order to see this better you can see the targeted area is going to be white in color on this preview right here so we have to target the highlighted areas so areas that have highlights so for this i'm just going to click right there and in order to fine tune this we have where it says fuzziness so with the fuzziness option you can either fine tune this to a wider selection or you can narrow it down so that it can be a fine selection so so right now we are okay you can see right here on the preview every highlighted area is really selected you can see the white areas on this a uh, selection mask or preview so with that done just come and simply press ok so after pressing ok it is going to go back and you can see there is no difference or no adjustment that has happened to the image so you just have to come and click on this curves adjustment layer so make sure you click right in the middle here and simply take it up so don't take it too much so just take it slightly up and this is going to be better you can stop here and if at all you feel like that is okay for you but if at all you want to add a very nice and better glow to skin just come to the blend mode and we're just going to scroll all through these blend modes so the one i prefer to use for that nice and beautiful glow is going to be linear just going to go with linear dodge right here so make sure you select linear dodge add right there but as you can see this is going to add the glow is going to be a little bit intense or too much. So you're just going to come to the opacity and you're going to drop down the opacity of 
this glow because we don't want it to be intense or too much so i'm just going to leave it at around 20 20 looks okay and this is the before for the glow and this is the after for the glow before after so we just want now to handle the shadows in this case so this is more of a slight bit of dodging and burning but with the dodging and burning that we are doing it's also adding glow to the skin so right now we're just going to handle the shadow area so i'm just going to close this curves adjustment layer and i'm going to rename this into just going to name it into highlights so we are going to do the same for the shadows come and create a curves adjustment layer right here then we are going to come back to select and we're going to come down to the color range tool so with the color range selected it is going to bring up the same window that we had before but this time around we have to click on the shadow area so with the color picker tool look for areas that you want to appear darker and in order to fine tune you can come and play around with the fuzziness to have a better selection of the shadow areas and you can see the targeted areas are going to be white in color so these are areas that have shadows within this very image and they're going to come and press ok so after pressing ok it is going to open up this and make sure you click in the middle and this time around since we are dealing with the shadow areas in the photo you're just going to click in the middle right here and just darken that slightly so we're just going to close this and this time around for the shadows uh, we're not going to play around with the blend mode we are just going to leave it in uh, the normal mode so just going to name that into shadows so after that we're going to put these two in a group and pressing ctrl g or command g on the keyboard but remember the effect is also affecting as uh, the background areas and some areas of uh, the hair which we don't want we only want to add the glow to a skin area so you know what we're going to do you're just going to come right here with the group selected remember we put the adjustments in a group you're going to hold on the alternate key on the keyboard or option and click on this layer mask icon right here so you hold on alternate and left click on this layer mask icon it is going to invert the effect from affecting the overall image then we're going to come under the brushes simply right click and get the brush tool and make sure the hardness is at zero percent meaning it is a soft round brush and make sure opacity and the flow is at 100 percent then you have to make sure that you have white the reason for having white is because we want to reveal the effect that was hidden behind this black mask so make sure you click on these two small boxes to have white on top and you can switch between black and white by using x on the keyboard and that is going to toggle in between black and white and with the brush tool selected you can just come and now paint over the skin and it's going to reveal back the effect to only and only affect the skin area and not affect as uh, the background of uh, our image in this case so i'm just going to paint on the skin and you can see this looks okay so if i told you feel like the effect is a little bit intense for your liking you can come and turn down the overall opacity but uh, this is the before and after before and after so basically this is how to add a natural glow to your images or to skin in photoshop and if i told you i found this video helpful make it a point that you hit the like button because this is going to help the video perform better in the long run Ronix from Ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating